Yeah, I think the timing of this has to be seen uh, in the context of the Americans' latest attempt to try and make peace between the two sides here, which has been going on for nine months and was meant to come to fruition. The deadline was, in fact, this, this coming Monday. Now, that has run into the sand. It's not going anywhere. And I think what the, the Palestinians on the fatter side, that's roughly speaking the pro-Western side, are saying is that they want to try and build their strength from within. They're not getting what they want from the Israelis. Therefore, try to, to, to change the balance of power in their favor by getting national unity. Now, it has to be said, they've tried to mend this, this rift with Hamas before, and it, it hasn't worked. It hasn't failed. This one may fail again. The Israelis are saying this is a big crisis, that how can they negotiate with people who are allied with Hamas, who are an organization who want the end of the Jewish state. Now, I think what all this means in a broader sense is that there has now been, what, more than 20 years of negotiations, often brokered by the Americans or by other outsiders between the Palestinians and the Israelis. And so far, none of them have worked. Both sides have not been able or willing to make the necessary uh, sacrifices and deals. So what has happened in the past is that when a, a peace initiative hasn't worked, there's sometimes been a period of violence after it. And of course, people are wondering if that is the risk now.